mentioned earlier, Dark Matter beat Utopian Ray off stream, uh -huh. who was playing Palu, at least for the last game. Mm -hmm. um, and then he just uh, kind of ran through and he uh, John ran Numbers. Ran over John Numbers, which uh -huh. was. I was very surprised by that. Let's see what he does here. Okay. I don't think there's any. Uh, any Palu, any Palu mains in Central or South Jersey, so he may not have uh, matchup experience with this one. As many Palus as there are, yeah. he may not have the matchup experience. But let's see. Um, you can see Jen uh, really picking his spots. He's not For sure. like running in. He's not doing anything unsafe. Uh, well, he saw what happened to Numbers. Yeah. Doesn't want that to happen. That was a great frame trap right there. Yes. And a great option by Dark Matter because he missed, he lost his double jump, so he had to get that back was to really the good. Stage. That's a big thing in this matchup. Uh, back air will beat anything, of course. So it beats when Ness fares from ledge. Palu can back air right through it. Ooh, he Smart can, magnet there, I like it. He can side magnet that. That is you, good. You mentioned this last set. Ness's up air dodge goes a long way. Very long. That was I like was an extra off by jump. That. Yeah, that was that was huge. <laughs> that was like an extra jump. That is higher than Snake can jump. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is higher than that Snake can like jump. That looks like Snake's grounded jump. Yeah. <laughs> that is insane. I'm so sorry, Snake. <laughs> it's okay. He deserves it after ball. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of top players are saying that about Snake. Uh, I think so he's really cool in this game. I also think that anything bad that happens to him, he deserves after what happened <laughs> in Brawl. Uh, <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, about a minute and that 20 seconds in, still no stocks taken, but Dark Matter sitting out 150 percent. Back here, gonna it. do it. Yep. And Jen just looking really comfortable, doing a great job when he's yeah. in advantage, and that's really where you have to exploit yeah. Ness. Mm -hmm. And what the good Nesses do is they minimize the effect of Ness's disadvantage. Yeah. So when you see someone like Gons or like Dark Matter. Uh, you see them really recover more often than you feel like they should be able to. Uh -huh. Just recovering early when you don't expect it, recovering late when you don't expect it, uh, using every option available to yeah, them to, mit the to mitigate what is, for sure, a weaker than average disadvantage state for Ness. But I think got better because of the new mechanics. Yeah, absolutely. Now Despite that everyone's the nerf to air dodge, disadvantage sucks, uh, it's a yeah. little bit different. I think, like, air dodges got nerfed, and Ness relied on air dodging in a lot of situations in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. But... The air dodge he does have is very good now, comparatively yeah. to other characters. Especially now that he doesn't have to kind of use PK Fire or PK right. Thunder to kind of cover the ledge. He could just air dodge. Yeah, air dodging the ledge is really useful for Ness. Uh, gives him some extra mix-ups for getting back onto the stage. As we see the back throw there, take the first stop. Exactly. And not even just the back throw. You can see the dash dance weaving in and out of his, uh, yeah. his dash attack or whatever move he whipped, and then punish him for it. Really good. It's great to see everyone uh, learn how dash dance neutral works mm -hmm. again. <laughs> And it's kinda, you know, it's a lot of people have, have some sort of experience with it, you know, yeah. if you've ever played Melee or PM or anything. Uh, but that wasn't really in Smash 4. That's yeah. not how things work. Not and there's all. never been anything quite like this game where you can dash dance and all of a sudden you can be forward smashing someone. Because exactly. you know, even in Melee or PM where dash dancing is so good, you still have to wave dash out of it before you can do something like that. And now you can just immediately use any option you want yeah. while you're dash dancing. And, the and thing I think is, it's really, really interesting. It's a lot harder as well, which is uh, sure. kind of like counterplay in this game. The fact that it's so easy, you see a lot of lower level players just doing it in the neutral. Right. And high level players will just punish you for it because you cannot shield in your dash. Even yeah. The your, initial da cool. your initial dash, you cannot shield. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also, like, I think a big thing that I've seen from a lot of, like, low level or even just, like, some decent, like, mid-level mm -hmm. players is, like, dash dancing just sort of for the sake of it, especially if you play a character who's good at it, like a yeah. sortie or something. And then you gotta have a plan for what you're gonna do out of exactly. it. There's gotta be a reason behind it, as we see. An unfortunate SD right there, mm -hmm. uh, but he was at 150. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah, Jen kind of forced the issue. He put him in right. a spot where, listen, if you come back to the stage, I can do a lot of things to you, so. <laughs> and that, um... So, uh, here we go. Uh, and we see Jen using the back air. Uh, he uses it, he's using it sparingly now, but um, he's look just like that, he's probably going to use it a lot in this last stock because Dark Matter really isn't prepared for it. It seems like downhill just consistently two frames. Absolutely. I haven't seen Ness get so around good. it yet. Because it so doesn't good. on every character, mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't seen him miss it yet on Ness. Uh, so it looks like that just always hits below ledge against this character. Okay. Four tilt's still not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it kills though. It is much better, yeah. but it's still not great uh, compared to her other moves. Compared to Smash Four, it's amazing, use. but it's not great. As we see the down tilt to fair, not quite gonna kill though. Forces the air dodge in. Oh How my God, that could have turned hit? south so quickly. Either I'm surprised both of them are alive. Yeah, but this Stevie disadvantage. Oh, and he got him with the up air. Was that a frame trap? It looked like something like that. I don't know. <laughs> what did he do to avoid that back air? Uh, it looked like he air dodged into okay, the middle of the stage. Let's see. Um, so the up, the up B right there. 
Oh, he just jumped. He jumped, and then Dark Matter chased him with the up air. Yeah, there was no FAF after that back air. So he was it's able very to fast. throw out that up air. Banning Lilat and Yoshi's Brawl. A lot bands. of people complain about the fact that uh, Ness's uh, up air looks different. I love it. And I think it's is, so uh, cool. I think it still looks cool. Uh, it still is able to kill, as you just saw. You also have like really cool looking stuff with like magnet drag down up air. Yeah. There, that, like, yeah. Drag down up air has some really cool applications and looks awesome. Yeah, you can definitely get fancy with this. <laughs> I still can't believe how this board tilt works. Like, yeah, that so move in Smash 4 was frame 17, FAF 67 or 68, like truly the worst move in the game. They fixed a lot. Oh, no jump. What are we going to do here? Oh, uh, it's a little low there. And you see. He's Quick first stock for Jen. The reason why he's opting to do the PK Thunder so far off stage is because if he goes low, he's going to get fared or spiked. And right. if he tries to go to or the ledge aired. with like an air dodge or something, he's just going to get down tilted again. And if he doesn't choose something quickly, he often gets explosive flames. Exactly. And then that either baits out an air dodge or kills him. Mm -hmm. Or you know, at least puts him up in the air. So. That does so much damage. The PK fired in air. Yeah. I mean, PK fire is de always the PK damage, fire does, but now it seems I think more even more in this game. It, you know, you don't fall out of it as quickly. Uh-huh. They nerfed, like, the ability to SDI multi-hits in general in this game. Multi-hits are a bit more consistent as to, like, you can get out of them after this length of time. Uh-huh. Uh, that kind of thing. Because PK Fire doesn't keep you trapped the entire time like an arc fire or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, he can do that. Mm -hmm. And it that. seems like Dark Matter knows this matchup. It didn't take him long to begin to side magnet the explosive flame. Right. And as you can see, he just did that. And, and after losing a stock really quickly, mm -hmm. he's right back in it. Yeah, putting himself right back in the game. And he's up a game. It, yes. it kind of seems. It kind of seems like, like Jen's been is in control. Up one, yeah, because he had complete control over that last match, but Dark Matter did a last-second comeback and took that stop. That was such so, a good um, counter. I was not expecting that. Um, Great Jen, air dodge, though. Jen Double jump air dodge his, back uh, on the stage. His tor tournament uh, game right here, or I should say, winners bracket game. Right here. Hey, nice it's air dodge, right? Yeah. Here we go. Down two. Okay, gonna catch him. Back down tilt fair. Nice. That was good. I like it. Fair would not have killed there. Gets the down tilt raw back air. It looked like Jen tried to go through him on the ground just now, and they just started I, kissing. I have <laughs> tried to do that a couple of times. It, it, yeah. That's like one of the things, the new mechanics that's still throwing me off. It's gonna take a while to get over that. Definitely. Even if you're not someone who used to do it like significantly in Smash 4, like super often, just like the way that like those interactions happen is so different now. I like the change, actually. I think it's yeah, pretty cool, but it's going to take a while to get used to. Nice nice patience from Jen. He didn't just throw out a hitbox. He understood he was facing the wrong direction, and he picked his option, and he stuck with it. Nice nary. Now, you can see Jen, he's stuffing out a lot of Dark Matter's aerials, something that he wasn't doing in the last game as much. Not quite able to get a frame trap there. For back throw not going to kill yet, so he goes for forward throw. Next back throw kill from pretty much anywhere. Okay. Maybe not all the way across. I like, I like the neutral get up. Don't go behind Ness so you don't get back thrown and die. Take yep. the forward throw. That'll do it. But that, Based off the up tilt. <laughs> so Dark Matter uh, down 90%. However. This looks a lot like the last game. Yeah. To be honest. Oh, there's the reflect. Okay. Yeah, you haven't done that a lot this set. It's it's a lot worse. In in putting reflect as part of counter, it's certainly a nerf to the reflect itself. Uh -huh. I think huge buff to the character overall because of explosive flame replacing Absolutely. it. But. Certainly nerfs the reflector specifically. Good movement from Jen there. It looked like that uh, F Smash was supposed to be a. That was really good. He it. He's noticed that uh, that Dark Matter's been air dodging in on all those, not just uh -huh. air dodging, but specifically in towards the stage. Yeah. So he just jumps out there without any any move, baits mm -hmm. out the air dodge in, and then comes in with the up air to punish. Yep. And on top of that, he knew that the down tilt was not going to be true at that percentage. Right. So, uh, opts for the second option. Quick thinking. That's how uh, you stay consistent in bracket. Man. You got to be able to think fast, adapt quickly, and you see Jen doing just that. Even in the even in the second part or uh, the latter part of that uh, second match, you can see Jen being a lot more aggressive. He was putting out a lot more hitboxes. That's a sign of somebody who's comfortable. And if right. your opponent is comfortable, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so we see Jen uh, banning FD and Yoshi's story there. I believe that was. So we're getting the counterpick to Smash Bros. This was a great stage for Smash 4 Ness. Of course, uh, works a little differently now uh -huh. uh, with hazards off. But still, I think a good stage. Grab. Down to, all right, you see. He's doing Jen really well very covering comfortable. these. Uh, the last hitbox of that. He kill him already. Now, wow. he's done that in a couple of games in a row, though. He has early gotten an early like stop. That, that, that was commanding, though. Right. That, that was one was more, more, more dominant, exactly. for sure. Exactly. It wasn't a gimp. It wasn't like a unfortunate something. Yeah. No, it was like, I'm going to kill you right here, bro. 
Okay. Op nice job. I like that. He didn't try and fight his way down on the left side of the stage. He went around him, went to the other side, and reset the neutral. And now look at this. Dark Matter in disadvantage and can easily die. Down here. tilt. Yep. Get the loop around edge guard. Oh, being aggressive there. I don't know if I agree wow. with that. Good air dodge. Nice air dodge up. Oh, so was so I would have liked man. to see uh, just a down tilt, just continue the down tilt edge guards, but it works out in the end for Jen. Only takes about six percent, <laughs> right? After all that, and then he gets the stock anyway. Up three to Look one now, and you can tell that momentum. One game that away he, from grands. That momentum he had in the um, jump. in the second part of that or the latter part of that last game, right? Continue to carry it over. Absolutely carry. Now it he's over. up almost two full stocks. Mm -hmm. And Dark Rider's got to be aggressive. I like the idea there. Just go for the down air two frame. You got to go for something at this point. He is not out of this game. And we've seen a lot of zero to deaths going both ways. Yeah, definitely. So this game is not over yet, but it is going to be a long road back for Absolutely. Dark Matter. He needs to take this stock really, really quickly. And I know it sounds cliche, but 77%. Palutena doesn't have trouble killing you. That was a great warp right there. Gets between him and the PK Thunder, so he can't hit himself to get out of, out of trouble right there. Uh -huh. Down tilt back air. And that's going to take it. So Jen, after two very, very close games, yep. Jen three stocks him in game three, and he is going to be moving on to grand finals here. Very convincing three stocks. It wasn't even any gimps, no SDs. Like, he just outplayed him completely that last game. For sure. Really good, man. Anyway, Perfect. thank you guys for tuning in tonight to Xeno 142. I'm Zyvon here with Godfident. Yes, and, sir. And um, we are still going here. I'm not sure how far loser's bracket is yeah. right now, we're but we're, we're, in, we're in top eight for sure. That was winner's finals there. Oh, no. That or was that was winner's semis. Sem